Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks. I'm that video series videos I've been doing for the while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. And folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It's really hot, and I'd like to have the windows open in my truck, but unfortunately, there's uh, some construction going on across the street, and it's just it's just too loud. Yeah. But anyway, uh, folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to eat it and yammer on about it. I'm going to let you know what's going on with it. It's going to be a whole thing. <coughs> I'm also a little bit under the weather still, so, you know, just take that into account. I'm little bit, still got some crud in my throat and everything, so, but I'm, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Whilst I'm getting better, I'm inside my truck, whilst I'm inside my truck, I'm doing something else. What is that something else, folks? Well, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Wargasm shirt. And now, I have to emphasize this because I have to emphasize this, apparently. This is not the Wargasm from the 90s. Uh, from, like, fucking Massachusetts. This is Wargasm from the UK. Uh, I was fortunate enough, I got to see these guys perform. They opened up for Bloodywood. Uh, I actually got a few videos from their performance. These guys really blew me away. I think it's mostly a duo. I don't know if, like, the, the band that they had on stage is strictly for touring or whatever, but I hope that they actually keep that, that whole setup because they're really good. I really enjoyed their stuff. <coughs> They were a blast to see on stage. I will be entirely honest, I'm not huge on the shirt. It's just a bit busy. And this was kind of the best design that I personally, you know, could see of what they had available. It's not a bad shirt or anything, but, you know, just, you know, just personal taste. Let's simplify it just a little bit. But no, seriously, they're really good. And like I said, I do have to emphasize the fact that they're a different band because there is an older band from the 90s. And I had people comment on my my posts where people were like, this isn't the wargasm from Massachusetts. You're misleading people. And I'm like, no, I'm really not. I list the, the name of the band, the title of the song, the venue, and the date. I ain't misleading nobody. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? What are we doing? Well, I want to drink it quick because it's hot. Boom, it's Dad's. But it's not just any dads, folks. It's blue cream soda. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love dad's root beer. It is probably my favorite commercial root beer. Um, I, I can't get it as easily as I could before. I actually got this out when I went to go out and visit my mom. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had blue cream soda. I've had their normal cream soda, which I enjoy. So blue cream soda, ahoy. Let's give it a shot. It is a twist. All right. Blue cream soda. It smells like cream soda. I mean, I'm a little bit stuffed up, so, you know, I can't smell as good as I normally do, but. Okay. Yeah, okay, that definitely. Because I know I've had, like, a blue cream soda before. I don't know from where, though. But I've definitely had a blue cream soda. This definitely... It still has a cream soda taste to it, but there's, like, something extra. Um, I don't know. Is there supposed to be, like, a specific thing to it? It's got cane sugar. I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm doubting that. I don't think it gets its blue coloration from any uh, particular ingredient besides blue one, which is just a coloring agent. But... It's definitely different than a typical cream soda. Um, it almost has kind of a bubblegummy flavor to it. Sort of a bubblegum cream soda kind of flavor. And the cream soda that I associate most with that flavor is Big Red. which Red versus blue. But they actually do have a blue soda too. But I've never had it. I've just never run into it. Um... Now I'm not saying that this tastes exactly like Big Red. Big Red definitely has more of a more of a kick to it, and it's definitely even more sugary than this, even though this is a very sweet drink. 
Um, this, I think, comparatively to Big Red, I feel like you're tasting more of the cream soda, and you're getting sort of an a little bit of an afterkick of kind of a uh, kind of a like I said, sort of a quasi bubblegum kind of flavor. Which just gives it like an extra sweetness. Um, it's good. I like it. I'll say this. And I will say, it does have a dad's flavor to it. And what I mean by that is this. Like, if you've ever had like Mountain Dew, every Mountain Dew flavor obviously has its own, you know, uniqueness to it. But they all use like a base flavor, you know, and it all kind of tastes like Mountain Dew at its core, just, you know, at the very, uh, the very basic level. This does have sort of a dad's kind of taste to it. Like there's a little bit of like kind of a, a little bit of a sort of harshness to it. And I'm not saying it's harsh because it, it's definitely a sugary drink, but if you've ever had dad's root beer, and if you haven't, I definitely suggest it. Uh, if you've ever had dad's, Dad's has a very unique flavor. It does not taste like any other root beer out there. And there's just like this little extra extra kick to it. And this kind of has that. Even if it's being somewhat diluted by the sweetness of the cream soda and again, sort of the, you know, kind of bubblegum-esque flavor. But I do like it. And like I do want to really emphasize the fact that while I do keep mentioning the bubblegum... It's not like a heavy bubblegum flavor at all. It is not like a bubblegum soda. It is much more of a cream soda that just has like a little extra sweetness, a little extra, you know, kind of creamy bubbliness to it. I enjoy this. This is good. I mean, I don't think I've ever been really too disappointed by dads. Like, I like pretty much everything that they do. Uh, but their root beer is definitely far and above my favorite of their products. This... I mean, the only things I can go off, off the top of my head are this and their uh, their cream soda. I would put this in number th in out of the three in third place, with root beer being the top, cream soda being second, and then blue cream soda kind of being at the at the third. Because it's good, I do enjoy it. But I'm excuse me. I'm a simple man at heart. I love me some root beer. I love me some cream soda. I have no problem with adding stuff to it. You know give it a little extra something something but fundamentally i really like just those those core flavors this still has some of that but you know it's maybe a little bit sweeter than i would go for for like a cream soda even if i do enjoy it like two questions have to be asked would i get it again would i recommend it would i get it again yes but here's what i would do if i had the option of you know, various dad's products, you know, the root beer, the cream soda, and now the blue cream soda. I would go with the root beer probably six times out of 10 because I love dad's root beer. I would probably go with the cream soda out of that, that remaining four, I would say probably three times out of those 10. This would be kind of the last go-to. Not because I don't like it, just because I like the other ones more. They're more to my palate. But I would definitely go over there and get this again. It's a good cream soda. I enjoy it. Dad's, like I said, they do a good job. Uh, as for recommending it, yeah, I think it's good. I mean, if you enjoy cream soda, it kind of depends on where you fall with cream soda. By the way, I did a cream soda special. I tried all the fucking cream sodas. It's four goddamn episodes. Go watch that. I nearly went blind. Uh, <coughs> it kind of depends on what you want out of your cream soda, but I do think it's a good cream soda overall. It's not, again, it's not exactly an ideal cream soda if you're a more traditional cream soda lover, but conversely, maybe if you're somebody who you enjoy cream soda, but, you know, you want to try some different stuff, I think it's worth giving it a go. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Still pounding this rest here. And folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly dad's root beer tastic rest of your life. Because even if it's harder for me to find in stores than I would like now, and I don't know why, for the longest time, Jewel carried it just readily. Bothers me. It's still really good, and I still love it. And I'm not going to lie. 
brings up some memories of time spent with me and my dad because it was a favorite root beer of both of us. But anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is however I was appreciated. But what you do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, this is not always the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when you're over there trying to do some reviews in your goddamn truck and your goddamn driveway. And you got freaking Mooks McGee over there doing a bunch of fucking construction stuff. Because they went over there, there was like a house on the corner of the road, and like a family was living there, and I think they were renting it, and then like a new guy bought it up, and he was going to renovate it, but then like it was all like the stuff with the city and everything. And I don't know if he eventually got that shit sorted out or if it went to somebody else, but they just completely demolished the fucking thing. They're building up a new house from the fucking ground up, so whatever is what it is. Take a step back, try to mitigate level of assholes in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, <coughs> maybe you're going to try yourself out some, some dad's blue cream soda, as I have done here today. And maybe you're going to enjoy it, as I did. But maybe you're going to go over there and be like, Brandon, you don't even know, man, okay? You don't even know. Dad's has an entirely different root beer, Okay. It's platinum root beer, and you've got to try it. And I'm like, all right, well, i got to look this up then. Then it turns out that, like, there's actual platinum in it, and it costs, like, you know, $8,500 a bottle. And I'm like, wow, oh, man, that's, that's a little bit outside of my budget range, if I'm honest with you. So maybe I start up, like, you know, an Indiegogo thing, and, you know, maybe we get there. Maybe we get there. I do it. I go out. I buy some. I try it. Probably wouldn't actually taste very good because usually overexpensive crap doesn't actually taste as good as it, you know, the price would indicate. And uh, but then maybe I go over there and I become super famous, what with the whole thing and the YouTubes and such. And then I can go over there and buy all kinds of stupid expensive crap that I don't need. That's what you do with YouTube stuff, right? Seems to be the case. Or conversely, don't be a wasteful idiot and uh, go over there and you know just enjoy the simple things like. There's no, and like, you know, don't get me wrong. You can enjoy the finer stuff, but, you know, don't be an idiot about it. Bye.